We're getting a lot of questions about technology, so I'll talk a little bit about different pieces of technology. Uh, the first one is our wireless emergency alert system. We are alerting now uh, on a regular basis. The first one out, first one went out early this morning. Uh, anybody who lives within the perimeter of the fire was, was sent a WIA alert, wireless emergency alert. That's where your cell phone goes off with that information. And that directs the recipient to a LAFD.org website to see where the uh, evacuation zones have been identified. We also have Notify LA. That's something you have to register for. You can register for that using uh, texting 888-777. We also have the reverse 911 system. And I understand police officers were also knocking on doors and using loud loudspeakers to alert the people that were still sleeping. The second piece of technology I want to talk about is our Wi Fire technology. It's a partnership with UC San Diego. We've been partners with them for a little over four years on the Wi Fire technology. It allows us to run a projection within the first few minutes of dispatching a brush assignment to a brush fire. The projection tells us where the fire is headed, and we get that projection within minutes. It uses real time weather data, uh, known fire corridors. Um, uh, fuel, things of that nature. We found the last few years it's, it's pretty accurate. It's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty accurate. It's really fast. We built upon that this year with the FIRUS system. FIRUS is the fire integrated real time intelligence system. That's where we launched two fixed wing aircraft within 30 minutes to an hour after the initial dispatch to fly the perimeter of the flyer, fire above our helicopters. That information is transmitted to our Southern California Wildfire Fusion Center, which is at our dispatch center within the Los Angeles City Fire Department. That gives us data and information we've never had before that quick. Usually it's many hours into the incident or even the next day before we get the real-time perimeter. That technology allows us to ensure that the information we share with the public is as accurate as possible. The last piece of technology is something we used two years ago is our drones. We'll be using the drones later on in the week. Uh, we can uh, ground our helicopters to save on the, the hours on the motor, give our pilots a break, and we can use our drones with infrared cameras to identify the hotspots. That will tell us where we need to put our, our firefighters to ensure the fire is cold. A lot of things going on with technology. Those are tools that we've been using the last few years. We're very fortunate that we have a very robust fire department thanks to the support of Mary Garcetti, our city council and our fire commissioners. We have uh, two new Augusta helicopters we've gotten in the last few years. Those are absolutely critical along with all the fixed wing assets. Uh, we do year round training on brush preparedness with our firefighters. Uh, unfortunately, the public uh, takes events like this to motivate the public to really understand ready set go and what a brush clearance program looks like we're fortunate that in the area in the city of la we have 134,000 parcels brush parcels in our first sweep this year 92 percent were cleared so thank you to the public for your cooperation there also thank you to the public for the evacuations that occurred this morning it went relatively smoothly given the size of the incident and with that i'll turn it over back to the mayor